Um, no, I really hadn't thought much about it um, at all. You know, um, you know, we've got to schedule every day, obviously, with stuff with the coach and how detailed it is. Um, really, I didn't know if I was doing this until last night. But it's, it's just nice Has coaching been easier for you this year, not having to deal with us and the peripheral stuff and just focus on coaching? Well, not, not about the media, but just it's been easier to coach offense. I think, you know, being a head coach for as long as I was, you kind of forget <coughs> the value of being able to be with your quarterback, to be able to be with your offensive players the entire game. Um, you know, I don't watch, now I, I don't even watch him play. At the end of the game, I go in and I'm in the locker room with Kirby, I've got no idea what we did on defense, um, what a play, you know, any plays that happen. Because rarely ever um, do I ever even see a play. I just stay with Blake, stay with the offensive guys, go over the last series in detail, go over what we potentially will see in the next series, adjustments, and that's very foreign to what I had been doing. Where before, you, can't, you have to watch the game. So you, really, you can't really mention coach them because you're the head coach. I mean, you've got to watch what the penalty happens. You know, you've got to make adjustments, make calls, um, decisions throughout the game. So that's been, it's been different. Um, it's been refreshing to me because I do love the aspect of the in-game adjustments or you put a play in because of a coverage that they're putting in and then the play works and you get to see the players celebrate because of the adjustment or play. Um, I do like that aspect a lot. And as a head coach, it's harder to do that, obviously, than it is when you're just supporting it. Given the success that you've had this season, has it been self-assuring for you? Given the Good success you've had as a play call. I really hadn't thought about it that way at all. Um, just extremely excited for for all the offensive players, but especially for Blake. You know, here is somebody. Now we're in a day. We're in an age now um, with kids. Of things don't go my way, we're going to move you. We don't like the coach there, and night fair we'll put you on a different team because he doesn't play you, as opposed to you stay. Um, you stay and you play and you fight through it. And Blake's an example of that. I mean, what, what do we see in the next month that's going to happen all over the country? Quarterbacks that aren't happy going to transfer. Well, he had so many opportunities every year, obviously, of not playing, getting moved positions, um, signing of, of Jake Coker as a transfer that everybody assumes coming in to be the starter. The kid never once mentions it. Never. I think I had one conversation. It's because I brought it up because I was worried it was on his mind about people being down on him or no trust or belief in him. Coach, I'm not worried about that. Don't worry about me. I'll do whatever you want. To see that attitude play, pay off, which is so unusual nowadays, you stay and you play, um, has, has been great to see. And I think, it's, I think it should be a really good lesson, not just in college, um, but when you talk about younger kids playing sports um, around the country.